The new research from Pfizer is critical as the country tries to arrest the spread of the Omicron variant. Pfizer says its first two vaccine doses do not hold up well against Omicron. But the third shot, the booster, provides 25 times the protection against Omicron. Three doses against Omicron are almost equivalent to the two doses effectiveness we had against the, the wild type, the original variant. So These are very good news. The bottom line, as the virus mutates, the booster may be the shot that keeps you from contracting COVID and staying out of the ER. If you get the booster, you're really in good shape. And so that's very encouraging news. But as the country enters its third COVID winter, many Americans have grown tired of so many virus, vaccine, and mandate developments. Yet this number is staggering. The CDC reports 787,000 Americans have now died from COVID, more than the number who died in the Civil War, America's deadliest conflict. 1,100 people are dying every day from COVID's Delta variant. Six states now make up half the country's hospitalizations. Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, New York, and Illinois. Most patients unvaccinated, but some are breakthrough cases. Massachusetts is now coping with a third COVID wave. Trauma rooms at UMass Memorial, 120% full. The staff utterly exhausted. What we're hearing about people now is crying on their way into work knowing what they're about to face. And, and that's what healthcare workers are going through right now. You're tired, but you're not as tired as the healthcare workers that have to deal with this crisis right now. Despite the rising death toll, a new Axios poll finds Americans are eager to put the pandemic behind them. Only a third say they'll stop dining indoors at restaurants. Fewer than a quarter say they're canceling holiday travel plans. Just 28 percent will skip gathering with friends and families outside their households. For folks who are not vaccinated, you are high risk of ending up in the hospital or the ICU, no matter how young and healthy you are. For the rest of us with those vaccines, we can have an added layer of confidence. And Tom, the FDA just issued an emergency use authorization for another COVID treatment. What can you tell us? Approving AstraZeneca's monoclonal antibody treatment. Now, this is for people who are immunocompromised or who had a bad reaction to the vaccine, giving them added protection against COVID. Lester. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.